We'll start with the Indiana Pacers visiting the Orlando Magic. The Magic coming off a third win this season over the Boston Celtics. They're six-point favorites hosting the Indiana Pacers, minus 220 on the money line, with a total up at 234. Again, this Pacers team without Tyrese Halliburton has really been tough sledding for them, hasn't it, Chris? It has, it has. Uh, they have not looked good. Now, of course, the Pacers looked pretty good last night, but I think that was more about the Chicago Bulls, right? Uh, they took advantage, I think, of a Chicago team that's lacking a little bit of rest. They just went overseas. They came back. They had a back-to-back. And then you can kind of tell that Chicago just kind of tired out in the second half of that game. Only 48 points from Chicago. That's probably one of the worst defensive performances by DeMar DeRozan in his whole life. Uh, just, you know, the Bulls are too tired to play defense in the second half. And the Pacers took advantage. Um, Matherin, am I saying his name right? You know, he, 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 went, he went off on the bench. You know, T.J. McConnell, Miles Turner, they all had good games, but as we've seen without Halliburton, this is a different team. Uh, They're just not as efficient on offense, and now they are in a very difficult spot, right? Because fresh off that win, where they probably exerted a good amount of energy trying to still beat a good Bulls team, they have to head right back on the road all the way down to Orlando. Um, And this Magic team is healthy. And the Orlando Magic, probably among all the bottom tier teams this league, because they're still, what, 12th or 13th in the standings in the Eastern Conference, they're playing better basketball this year, certainly playing better be- uh, defense throughout January. Uh, and they're going to have a serious size advantage here tonight as well. I mean, they almost always do against the Pacers, but Pacers have won these first two battles, right? So maybe this matters a little more to the Orlando Magic than it does to the Pacers, especially off that back-to-back. So, like uh, like I'm Alex Christensen over here, I am going to take the Orlando Magic to cover this line tonight against the Pacers at home. I'm proud of you. I love laying points with bad teams. I'm going to stay just a bit away from this spot. Uh, my number came out pretty much right on top of where the market is, but I like everything you're saying. You think about the situation, the Pacers, you know, outscore the Bulls by 13 points in the fourth quarter to steal a victory somehow. And what was just got to be one of the saddest losses for the Bulls this season and what's been a strange season. The the Magic, you would think, may be a little deflated coming off of beating the Celtics, but that's the third time this season they've beaten the Celtics outright. They covered all four games there, so a little bit of old hat for the folks in Orlando. We'll see. I think that's definitely the right side here. Um, Ski, did you have any angles in this game? Well, I'll just, you know, I'll be on the other side. I'm not on the other side, but I'll try to make a case for the other side. And really, it just boils down to I don't trust the Magic as a team to lay points with. They're not that great defensively. And I just don't think of them as a team I want to be winning by multiple possessions. I get that the Pacers are on a back-to-back. I get how poor the Pacers have looked since Halliburton has went out. They've been losing by, you know, on average, double digits per game. But I think that in this 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 last game they just played last night, they kind of figured something out and just, you know, trying to play through Miles Turner, figuring out that that's where they're going to have consistent offense because, you know, without their general out there, they got to figure out where they're getting it. So when I started to see that and I saw them start to make a little bit of a comeback, not a little bit, they came back 20 points and won the game. I think they'll start to trend a little bit more in the right direction. So if they're catching points here, I'd probably be on that side. Yeah, it makes sense. Again, hard to trust the Magic as favorites, but I like it, Chris. I think this is a good spot. May even go out and sell a couple points because if they cover this, it should be pretty comfortable. Chris is going to lay the points here. The Magic, minus six, hosting the Pacers tonight. 